Okay, so here I have a what we call a compass plane. Now a compass plane, this one is made by a record. Now record, uh, one of the um, top end of uh, tools uh, in relation to carpentry and joinery tools that you can have uh, nowadays. It's quite a well known brand, uh, made in England. Um, so uh, what does this do? Well, it actually can paint a concave shape, which is this, or a convex shape. So if I was to, uh, if I might be wanting to make up a, uh, a mirror, a round mirror, if I cut a series of um, uh, shapes like this, I can then mark it out Cut those like a, a radiant to the center line of a circle. That's where the cuts are. But first, before I do those cuts, I would have to shape it. That's what I would use this for. Now, this is a hand held plane. So the modern equivalent to that will be something like a router, which will have a, a what they call a ball race cutter, but you'll have to have a template and then that would do the same thing. So this is the modern equivalent now. Um, a router cutter with a ball race cutter that enables to clean up the, the shape. But in this instance, I want to show you how this works. So, you see the grains going across here. We're going to do the convex first, which is the outside of the curve. So, to do that, if I put this in the vise, I just want to demonstrate how this works. So, now the center, I can't. When I say the centre, where the natural line of this grain is here, I don't think quite the centre. So I'm going to have to plane this way, and then also, and then turn it over to plane the other half. I couldn't go all the way around because of the the angle of the plane itself. I couldn't go. What I'm saying here, I couldn't go, or I couldn't plane from here going all the way around because it will it will destroy the end of the actual it will dig into the grain here it'd be smooth there but dig into the grain there that's why you have to come halfway there and then turn it around and come the other way uh, probably spin the thing around so I'm going to show you what I mean so it works like this hopefully I've just got this out of storage so it's been a while so, so it's very it feels very uh, uh, oiled yeah it's not stiff it's not being in line in the garage rusting away so it's just the thing so let's see I can do that a little bit more actually if I right. so what I'm doing what I'm just doing now is just really elevating the contour of this curve yeah so I'm actually just looking at it so this is quite so it's touching there so this is this is pretty good this is probably as close as I'm going to get in relation to the contour of that. So this is the convex side of the curve. Now, setting up the blade is no different than any other plain blade. You would just adjust it through here by this lever here, the adjustment lever, which is there. And you just put it out as though you were using a conventional smoothing plane. So you just sighting it through and you're just looking at it and you know how much you want to take. In this case, it would be very thin. You just want to see the blade. So I'm looking down it, just want to see the blade showing. And then, and then what I would do is then try it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to try that. Let's see. Right, it looks like I need to put some more blades out. I haven't even taken anything.
Play that little bit there. by hand uh, but as I say everything now so everything now will be a router will be the one so there you are look you see the shape is nice and thin so it's been sharpened, so it's a bit on the rough side. You can see it there, like a little bit of chip in there on the blade. But this be like a conventional blade, just like you have on a smooth and pain. So this is the convex part of the curve. Let's try the concave, see how well it does there. Again, I need to come from, the grain is going, in, so I'm gonna to have to come out, so out from this edge, and cut, meet in the middle, here. So the grain's going this way, this is the grain. This grain going, so if you imagine, it's gonna be smooth this end, but if I go right way through, it will wanna dig into the grain. So that's why I'll need to come this way, and then turn myself around and come in that way towards the center, so I don't, you know, dig into the grains. It won't do all of that in one go, yeah, because it will dig into that. So that's why you're gonna have to come this side, this way, and then come that way. And this is what I'm gonna try out now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let me turn this one. Okay. All right, let's see. Hopefully it does the business this way. Mmm, <laughs> no, because we've got other things that we can use, yeah, like yeah, spoke sure. shapes. Yeah. Yeah. This is quite specialist, this. This is very specialist. But as I say, nowadays, someone can get a router. Right, so look, I've got it like that. Now, let's see, if I probably can go down a bit with it, yeah. But then I've got to make sure that that is meat touching the middle. So if it's slightly um, up at this end, as long as this is a contact here, as long as that contact in all the way around, look, if I move that there, it, I'm getting the main contact. Contact of contact. The, the, the flexi curve or the bottom is not totally, doesn't need to totally touch it. The main contact is here where it's the cutting so as long as it's following the contour, but it doesn't have to follow it this end. Because when I move this around, it, it will change in a way. So what I'm saying is, it doesn't need to be exactly to the curve here. It doesn't, it doesn't need to follow it exactly, as long as the contact is, is there. That's what I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. So now, let me just... Unwind it a bit, I think. Let's see if we can. Oh, see what I mean? It's digging into there, so that's why you can only really go to the to the middle. digging there see this is what I'm saying so if I I'm 
fill that up more, it probably won't dig into that as much. See, it's when it gets there, see, it tends to dig in the front. So look, that's, that's how you would use this plane uh, if you were doing something that has a concave shape. Yeah, um, and that's about it really. Uh, what, you're ha what the problem is here is I'm slightly catching in, the grain is going this way, so really I want to stop there. It's quite, quite, a, it's quite a, uh, a skill using that uh, compass plane without trying to dig into it. That's why I, I need to stop there and not go beyond. When you just go beyond it, you dig into it. So now to correct that, I'll have to, I'll have to turn it around this way and try and, let's have a go, let's see if I can shift that out of there. Yeah, it's, it's quite a skill using this. Just there. You see, and then I'm digging into that. I find it quite, quite a convex part of the circle. Convex, which is here, and then the, this is the concave. Concave, which is this bit. So anything that's internal, basically. So let me show you an example. So anything on the outside is the convex, meaning the outside of a circle. Anything that you need to claim within, within or internally, as an internal, is what we call the concave. So that's what that is doing. So that, I demonstrated it touching the outside and also the, the bit on the inside, which is the concave. And that's what this plane can do. So that's what it's made for.